Uh, how many months do you need to buy an iPhone 6 in your country? Three. In, to, uh, in, with the minimum, minimum wage. Six months. Six months. Okay. In China? How many months? Do you need to win? To, to win. It's like if, if you have the minimum wage in your country to pay an iPhone 6. One month. Okay. In Mexico? Maybe. How many months do you need? With the minimum? Yeah, yeah, minimum wage. Ten. Maybe ten. Ten? Ten months. Korea? A new, new iPhone 6, normal one, like this one. Ten months. Ten months, okay. In my country, in Venezuela, the, you need five years, five years to buy a new iPhone 6, winning the minimum wage. It's like, it's like $16 each month, 10 seconds, 10 coins, 10 cents of each hour. That's the real truth. So, my thesis is I would talk about uh, the Venezuelan environment needs to change and I will explain the reasons why. So, it's like the violent deaths, the economic disaster and the miserable life in my country of the citizens, Venezuela citizens. So, the first one is the violent death. In my country, it's almost uh, only in the 2014, 25,000 of homicides, uh, 17,000 of homicides only uh, with people, 3,000, almost 3,000 homicides with cops, murder, and 5,000 without any intention, it's like crash, uh, suicide, and something. They are included in violent types that the type of that I think it's really hard for us if you can imagine a country like you have each year only 7,000 on site sounds like a war sounds really 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 uh, hard to believe but it's like this only in 2014 uh, 70 17, thousand of on it's like uh, the numbers of violence and death for each uh, 100,000 in inhabitants. It's like uh, without this organization, OBV, Organization Violent Violence of Venezuela, it's like eight, 80 deaths for each uh, 1,000, 100,000 uh, habitants. So I think it's really, really, really. Uh, but the like the official from the United Nations the statistics say like 40, 54 deaths for every everything every where uh, 100,000 people, and that's place Venezuela. It's right now the second most violent country in the world. The first place is Honduras, and it's the third uh, most uh, dangerous country in the world behind El Salvador and Honduras. My second topic is uh, economic disaster. Uh, it's like when the last year in the 2014 the oil, the price of the oil goes down and that was really really horrible for my country. Why? Because the my my country needs Venezuela needs really the oil have a good price. So when this happen, it's like all the economy goes down, went down, and uh, try in less than one year, everything goes really, 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 really down, and the economy really was a disaster. So we we'll talk about this. Venezuela, this doesn't make sense that we have a bad economy because we have the largest oil supplies in the world, 
most than Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or uh, Arabic countries that they are really good economy. So it doesn't make sense why your country have the largest oil supplies in the world have a bad economy. Uh, I told you this before, in only one year from January to December, the price of the oil goes down between that uh, over 120, $110 to almost right now it's like $55 for each barrel of uh, oil. So the economy, the, the shuttle of economy and the economy of Venezuela was trying was adjusted in this price, but right now is this is what my country perceive for each oil barrel. So it's really, really, really hard for the economy mind uh, with these things. So the other thing is about the control currency. This is a strong topic to try to explain because it's tough because not it's like only four countries in the world have, like Venezuela, Cuba, and Uganda, I think, or Zimbabwe. It's like uh, the governments uh, have the, or the control of the dollars that you want. If you want to buy dollars, you need to ask permission to the government, and the government will say, no, sorry, you have only, you can order by only $50. Uh, you need to ask to the government the permission to buy the dollars. So it's like, if you want to have, if you want to change all your money in your, in your bank account to dollars, you can do it because you only have permit like one hundred dollars each month, something like that. So it's really, really, really hard. And for the same reason, the government makes a lot of business with these things. Why? Because they have the power to decide uh, which, um, how many dollars they will. Uh, do it. It's not only to the person, it's not, it's not only to the people, it's, it's to with the companies. If the companies, they want to buy paper to make toilet paper, they need dollars to buy the, the, the supplies of the paper. So maybe the government say, no, I can give you paper, so uh, I can give you dollars. So this company can't make the paper, so for that reason we have I will explain more. Uh, we have this uh, shortage about uh, toilet paper and many other goods that is only because it's control. The governments, they have the fear that if they have a free uh, shuttle fish uh, dollar, the people could take all their money of the banks to change the dollars because the price of the Bolivar is really, 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 really down. My other topic that is miserable life. The life in Venezuela right now after this economic disaster is really, really, really bad. Why? Because the, all the economy goes down and the people need to make long lines only to buy the things like paper, uh, toilet paper, uh, to buy uh, supplies for the babies, and more than this. So the things about the the miserable um, sort of life is like a shortage, uh, a lot of waiting lines. Um, I will talk about the minimum wage again. Minimum wage. So this is like this most common watching the markets in the grocery stores in Venezuela. Right now it's like the companies doesn't have how to make products because the government don't uh, give dollars to make to the production. So this image is like, it's really hard and it's really strong like you watch, watch all these pictures because it's a true, looks like a science fiction movie or looks like a, I don't know, disaster movie, something like that, but this is like 